You are so talented and so loving, and I will always be there for you and for your family because you are my brother, and I love you. Bob Saget and John Stamos had a friendship for the books. Bob passed away suddenly on January 9th, 2022, and Access Hollywood is taking a look back at the Full House co-star's decades-long friendship. The duo met on set of Full House back in the late 80s, when Bob was playing Danny Tanner and John was playing Uncle Jesse in the series, which initially aired from 1987 through 1995. The two hit it off while starring on the hit series together and formed a bond alongside their pal and co-star Dave Coulier, who played Uncle Joey. However, they took a couple years to really warm up to each other. Bob previously told People Magazine that it took around four years for them to really hit it off, saying that they were just in different times of their lives. But then after those initial four years, he said they became, quote, like brothers. Over the years, John would support Bob by attending the cool comedy Hot Cuisine fundraiser for the Scleroderma Foundation, which held a special place in Bob's heart as his sister passed away from the disease in 1994. And I called on friends, and John Stamos, of course, is my bestie. He's doing the auction with me because I want people to not look at me <laughs> and just look at him. Bob also showed up for John. In 2009, when John was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the comedian delivered an emotional speech praising his pal. In your life, when you get to work with someone, uh, in your life when that work ends, whatever it may be, you don't often see them as much. And um, John has truly become my family. Uh, his family is my family, his mom, his sisters. Um, Candace and Lori are here. Um, our work family meant a great deal to us. And you are, uh, you've always been there for me in ways that I can't even describe. They later reunited on the Netflix reboot of their hit show, Fuller House, which aired from 2015 through 2020. They were joined by many of their original cast, including Candace Cameron Bure, Lori Loughlin, Jodie Sweetin, Dave Coulier, and Andrea Barber. Of the original cast, Ashley and Mary Kate Olsen were the only ones who did not return. John was also such a supportive friend. Bob competed on The Masked Singer in 2020, and after being revealed as the squiggly monster on the hit Fox series, he spoke to Access Hollywood about how John planned to come onto the show with him. And he was going to be in the third package. He was going to be, uh, had I come back, which I believe I should have, uh, I guess Broccoli just brought his game. I guess it was Broccoli. That's who I looked at as my main competition. Uh, <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> but uh, he he uh, was going to do a thing because I was going to sing Folsom Prison by Johnny Cash. And I really wanted to do that with a lobster claw. I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. That's wow, kind of, yeah. that was comedy right there. And <laughs> um, and John was just supportive and, and signed an NDA. Bob celebrated his friendship with John in a touching birthday tribute on Instagram, which he shared on August 19th, 2021, writing in part, quote, to say we are like brothers is an understatement. We have been through so much together for 35 years. High, lows, the usual you go through with your closest people in your life. But what I have to say here is how damned lucky I am to have John in my life. After news of Bob's unexpected passing on January 9th, 2022, John took to social media on January 10th to share a group message shared by the entire Fuller House cast that reads, 35 years ago, we came together as a TV family but we became a real family, and now we grieve as a family. Bob made us laugh until we cried. Now our tears flow in sadness, but also with gratitude for all the beautiful memories of our sweet, kind, hilarious, cherished Bob. He was a brother to us guys, a father to us girls, and a friend to all of us. Bob, we love you dearly. We ask in Bob's honor, hug the people you love. No one gave better hugs than Bob. John, Dave, Candace, Jody, Lori, Andrea, Scott, Jeff, Ashley, and Mary Kate. 